Welcome everyone to Web Design and Development course. Before going to our topic in this video, you'll be able to see our source and reference. I hope you'll be able to follow along this web design course. By now, you should be quite familiar with these websites. Coming up next are the prerequisites in this lesson. We have the map server, Apache server, Sublime text editor, localhost 8888, and hcdocs folder. These applications and folders should be active in your machine at the background. As you watch this video, please bear in mind about our ESLRs, and these are right thought, right communication, right attitude, right conduct, and right lifestyle. In this particular video, we will discuss about HTML tags. We are now in section 1.4. HTML is written in something called tags. Tags come in pairs, and an opening one and a closing one. The first pair of tags we'll write are the HTML tags themselves. You put one HTML tag at the top and one at the bottom. This tells a browser like Google Chrome that the code is hypertext markup language. Two things to notice here. One, that the word HTML is surrounded by angle brackets, the less than and greater than keys on your keyboard. And two, that the second tag has a forward slash before the HTML. All your tags must be surrounded by the angle brackets. And this tells the browser that there is some HTML code that needs executing, and that it is not to be shown on the web page. Miss an angle bracket out, and it can really mess up your web page. Now we are going to open our Sublime Text Editor, and we'll add those two tags, which looks like this now. Before we will proceed to the next tags, we'll save this certain file first. So please follow these steps as we save our first HTML page. Go to the File menu, then choose Save As button. In the Save dialog box, locate the folder ACDocs, which is in the Applications folder, then MAP folder and ACDocs. For Windows users, that should be in Drive C, MAP folder and ACDocs. Inside the HTDocs folder, we'll, we'll create a folder named HTML. So click the New Folder button. For Windows user, right-click inside HTDocs folder, and you will see New Folder. So go ahead and create the HTML folder. In the New Folder dialog box, we'll type HTML in lowercase letters, then click the Create button. The HTML folder is created inside of the htdocs folder. Now we'll repeat the same process to create a new folder named section underscore one inside of HTML folder. So go ahead, click the new folder button. Then in the new folder dialog box, we'll type section underscore one in lowercase letters. Then click the create button. Section underscore one folder is now inside of the HTML folder. In the file name box, we'll rename it to my first page .html in lowercase letters. Now you might wonder why we're typing the letters in lowercase. This will be discussed later on reasons for typing in lowercase. For now, we'll go ahead and save this file so we'll click the Save button. If we'll go to our folder again, then we'll see the HTML file we created named my first page.html, and that's inside of section underscore one folder. If we if we right-click that HTML file, then open with subline text. Here you will notice that the color of HTML text have changed to red. This means that HTML codes are now in effect. 
The first tag tells the browser to start doing something. The second tag tells the browser to stop doing it. The stop symbol is that forward slash. So miss that out and again, your web page can really be messed up. The next pair of tags are the head tags. They go between the two HTML ones. Go ahead and type this in your Sublime text editor. Again, notice that both the head tags are surrounded by angle brackets and there is a forward slash before the final one. Head. The head section of HTML page is where you put special instructions for the browser. Your browser will not print directly to a web page when things are inserted into the head section. For example, if you wanted to display the words hello world on your page and you type them in between the two head tags, then the browser would just ignore them. That's because hello world is direct text and not a special instruction that the browser can understand. So the head tag head tags goes between the two HTML tags. A special instruction your browser can understand is the title tag. The title tag always goes in the head section of the HTML skeleton. If you can notice here, there is actually an obvious structure. The title tags are inside the head tags and the head tags are inside of HTML tags. This structure or pattern is the foundation of HTML. So always bear in mind this HTML structure. A very common mistake for beginners is that their tags are mixed up. So be careful with this pattern. We'll cover more about HTML structure in the upcoming lessons. The title tag doesn't do very much and it definitely should not be confused with the name of your web page. If you save your web page as myfamily.html, then that would have no bearing on or relationship with the title tag. Whatever you type between the two title tags is what appears at the very top of your browser window. And that's it. That's all it does. You'll see what it looks like in a moment. The first and the final and most important part of the HTML skeleton is the body section. So let's add this in our subline text. In between those two body tags is where you'll write most of your HTML code. Think of the body as the white page in your word processing. When you type something in your word processing software, it is immediately displayed. Similarly, when you type something between the two body tags and then view the results in a browser, Whatever you type will be, will be displayed. As long as it's not a tag, your browser will try to display it for you. So remember, if you want people to see it, put it in between the body tags. In your text editor, add the following. Notice that we've added some text between the two title tags. My first page. We've also used indenting as spacing, but this is only for readability. The indenting and spacing doesn't have any effect on the results. Doctype, ne type needs to go at the very top of the page. There is no end tag for doctype. Note the exclamation mark after the first angle bracket and the space between doctype and HTML. So we'll add a doc type to the top of our page and your Sublime Text Editor will look something like this. Now it's time to check our codes. We'll open up localhost 8888 and run this file. 
But before going to our local host, please see to it that the Apache server is running. After typing localhost 8888, you will see the index of HTML. So click HTML. Then click the index of section 1 again. This is where our first HTML file is located. In the index of HTML section 1, you will see my first page, that HTML file. So we'll click on that. You will notice here that our page is just empty. It's because we didn't write anything in the body section of our Sublime text yet. Let's take a closer look. In the title tag, we wrote my first page. And this particular text can be seen right here, the one with an arrow. Since we did not write anything in the body section, therefore our browser looks empty. Now we can save text and we can close it. Now that we have discussed and familiarized about HTML tags, I hope that we'll be able to get started with developing web pages. Coming up next, we'll take a look at how to save web pages. For today's web quest, we'll search more about HTML tags. And we have a short exercise. Thank you for watching this video.